So Figma has just announced a new feature called Figma Site, and it's a website builder that could change the game for designers and no-code developers. It is obvious they are coming for platforms like Frema, Webflow, and even Wix, and honestly, this is exciting. But it also raises a lot of questions like, what can Figma Site actually do? What are its shortcomings? And should you actually switch your no-code existing tool to Figma Site? Well, I've done all of those digging and I've tested it for a while and also reviewed some of the code output. And in this video, I'm breaking down the good, the bad, and the real problem with the Figma site. First, let's get into the exciting part. At its core, Figma sites allow you to build your design and publish websites directly from a Figma file. You can copy your designs, apply responsive breakpoints, drop in content, interactions, and you just publish it all within Figma. No need to hand off to any third party builder. It is done within the Figma ecosystem. So it's giving you just one tool for you to do everything you need to do with it. Now, the good part about it is that they also discuss things like improved animation, CMS, UI, and component redesign. But what is actually working right now as we speak? What is on the site? First, the good thing for you is that as a designer, you now enjoy a seamless workflow. You stay inside Figma, design from concept to ideation with the other tools like FigJam. You can now create responsive design, launch, no extra tool needed, no development friction. This was a major pain point for a lot of designers and I feel Figma is giving designers now the ability to perform and build websites directly from Figma without using Figma. But when you're building, something that comes to your mind is responsiveness. Well, with components and breakpoints, you can use Figma components, then define the different breakpoints you want directly in Figma site and you have them all totally responsive. Just exactly the same way it works in Frema right now. You can even edit in real time across different sizes. So what this means is you edit one breakpoint and automatically all the other breakpoints are edited and done for you instantly. But that's not all of the good part. One of the other things I love about what Figma site has done is the interactions that are built into Figma site. You know, Figma has added some set of solid pre-made animations like the scroll, hover, and even conditional triggers. It, it looks a lot like Frema. And if you've used Frema for a while, getting started with Figma site is going to be almost like a breeze for you. Though they have promised a built-in CMS that is coming soon that will give you the ability to create dynamic content creation and help you manage things like blog, but this is not yet available. Well, and I feel like for the main time till this is available, Frema will still be the go-to choice for a lot of people that have blog to manage. But Figma has promised that this will be coming out, I think later on this year. So we're just going to wait and see about how that will come to pass. One good thing about Figma is that with Figma site, you can also combine it with Figma Make, which is like the new AI tool. Now this is huge because you'll be able to add your React components or even use AI code to improve your website faster. This is another point that will give Frema and other web builder sites a run for their money. So these are some of the amazing things that I feel Figma site has done and that would be a good, you know, kind of bargaining chip for you to either try and use the Figma site. But now let's talk about some of the things that I'm not so totally comfortable with, especially right now with Figma site. First, one of the first thing is the limited customizations, especially when it comes to interactions. Most of them are just preset and I don't really know if you can add custom animations yet to the Figma site or like other platforms that are a little bit more advanced. I know Figma is just Figma site is just starting, but platforms are more advanced. You can add a lot of custom animations. So this is one of the things that I look at like just like a little red flag. Also, when it comes to the template library, there is obviously a lack of templates. The templates look a little bit generic, but the examples Figma has also also shared in some of the template library are a little bit buggy. Some of the buttons break and not all of the sliders work. Then again, this is still new and I'm sure like as a lot of template builders like you and I start building and contributing to the community, it will get better really, really fast. One of the other things I will talk about is when it comes to the pricing, there is no clear pricing or hosting model yet at when recording this video. We still don't know what publishing will cost or what are the limitations for connecting your domain or existing domain or bandwidth. So if you're just thinking of making that switch, if you're going to be dependent on bandwidth, I will say you should really think about it first before you just move your existing site to Figma site. But I'm sure with how Figma has shown in the past, with their resilience, this is a problem that they're looking to fix very, very soon. But that is not all of them. The major problem here that I'm having is 
I don't really know how much of the code will be usable apart from outside of the Figma site. Like, are you, are you going to be able to take some of the HTML out and use it on another platform or host them locally by yourself? This is something I will still test in the future and hopefully it is not a nightmare that would keep you just stuck and stay within the system without being able to export your code. Because Figma didn't mention anything about exporting your code which I feel is something you need to really do. Now, I know we've spoken a lot about Figma site and Framer and Webflow, but I'll just put this table chart up for visual reference so you can see some of the things these other platforms have that Figma is lacking now. When it comes to designing tools, Figma site they design natively, Framer has custom canvas and Webflow has some custom canvas, but let's go a little bit down to what some of the parts that are missing. For the CMS interaction, it is coming soon for Figma, it is currently live now on Framer and also Webflow. Also SEO, I didn't see a lot about SEO and semantics, so that is still coming. It's currently not now in Figma side. And also different forms of monetization option. You will agree with me that one of the biggest selling points for Framer is also their creator model or like their template marketplace, which a lot of developers and creators make their living from. So I'll be looking to see if Figma is going to introduce some form of monetization for creators or template contributors this would be a major major factor to determine how much people are actually going to contribute to the figma platform but now this is early days and figma has a lot of catching up to do but honestly i am just impressed of how well this would work when everything is fully optimized thinking about the future state of things we need to talk a little bit about what i see design going to from now and in the future based off of what figma has just released Figma isn't just launching a feature here. I feel like Figma is making a major play to take over the end-to-end -end process of the entire design to production workflow. Right now, Figma is very good at designing and presenting and also prototyping, but they are not so good at publishing and also scaling lots of the design file. So with some of these updates, I feel Figma is making a push for the later two ends of the entire development process to enable to help you design, prototype, publish and also scale all your design without leaving the platform and that that is a bold thing to do and the only people that have done something like this successful is adobe my own experience that have taken the entire creation process video audio vfx everything in their different types of tool but even adobe does not have all of this embedded in one like what figma is trying to do here so where do i land now if you're a designer looking to launch like a portfolio or a quick campaign website or like an internal project you want to demo for your team figma might actually be the site for you but if you really care about seo accessibility scalability and so much custom interaction for now, you might still want to stick with Framer or Webflow, but like I said, it's still early days of Figma. I'm still testing out a lot of things and I'm sure a lot of updates will come as the days go by. I really want to see this succeed because it means an easier design process, especially for us designers to take things from design to code. It's going to streamline the process and make it so, so easy. But if you'd like to see what Figma site looks like in comparison to Framer, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a detailed comparison. And if possible, I might also build like two different websites or the same website on both platforms so we can just see how easy it is. I'll time it and see how flexible both platforms are. I'm very familiar with Framer. I use it to build. I've used Webflow a lot, but I'm also going to start using Figma site just to see what are some of these technical limitations to advise you properly on which. So let me know in the comments, do you feel that Figma site is something you'd like to switch to or you feel it's not yet ready, it's not yet as mature as its competitors like Framer and Webflow? Considering this is still new, I'd like to know in the comments. And if you like to see other detailed videos, let me also know them in the comments. Figma launched five different new features. If you watch my previous video, I've done a breakdown of the five of them. If you've missed that, I'm going to leave a link to it over here. You can watch it after you watch this video. I'm going to be taking each of them one by one, try and breaking it down and teaching you how to create and develop with them seamlessly. But you're not going to see that if you're not subscribed to this channel. So thank you for supporting and make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.